Uh, welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, this time I've got a little different project. Uh, I'm going to restore some mid-century lamps. I recently found these uh, at an estate sale. Uh, there's two floor lamps and one teak bowling pin shaped lamp. Okay, this one I've already started. Um, I did a light cleaning, uh, light sanding, and uh, a couple coats of tongue oil. And I'm just going to leave this as is. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with the electrical. I'm just going to leave everything alone here. I'll let somebody else decide uh, if they want to restore the electrical or put new uh, socket or uh, harp on it. I just uh, masked off the cord here. I didn't want to get tongue oil on the cord. The cord itself is fine. I carefully peeled off the felt that was on the bottom here. I wanted to see if there was any type of name on the bottom, and there's no name of any kind. So I'm just going to carefully uh, paste that back on, then just uh, list this online as is. On these, um, the sockets are no good. Uh, they're going to need to be replaced, and I'll probably put new harps on these. Uh, this one's all rusted. It's got the wrong finial on this one. And I'm not even sure what type of shade to get yet. I have to research what kind of shade to get. Uh, this is a long pole lamp. I'm not exactly sure the correct term. But I looked them up online. Uh, uh, very similar ones. The cords are shot. Uh, all needs a new wiring. So I'm going to do the same thing on these. Uh, probably just a light cleaning. Uh, get all the dirt off, see what the, fi the finish looks like, and probably just the same as the other lamp, uh, just a couple coats of tongue oil. Now on the floor lamps, they have a cast iron uh, weight on the bottom here, it's recessed in. And this also had uh, felt on the bottom, which I peeled off, and I will be replacing the felt on these. And these two lamps are going to go to an antique show in August. And if you notice this, that is correct. Uh, these lamps were 50 cents a piece. So $1.50 for all three lamps. And I did a little bit of uh, research on these so far. Uh, this pair is probably worth in the 800 range. And this lamp is worth in the uh, 250 range. I'm going to clean the uh, wood. Uh, I'm going to use TSP and warm water as usual. And once it's dry, I can see what the condition of the finish is like. As it turns out, there's uh, just not much finish on these. Uh, probably just an oil finish originally. So I'm just going to do a light sanding with some 220 grit paper. OK, 
Okay, now I'm setting up to finish the wood. I put a 7 16 inch dowel in each end with a little bit of masking tape to tighten up the dowel. And uh, sand these with 220 grit paper as well. Okay, I'm going to rub some tongue oil on them. I'm going to use some lint-free cheesecloth. Uh, first shake out the cloth to get any lint out of the cloth. And then I've got a glass jar to store the cloths in overnight. And the procedure here is uh, just rub on a liberal coat of tongue oil. Okay, let the tongue oil sit on the wood for about five minutes. And then use a uh, clean piece of cheesecloth to buff off the excess. Okay, I dried overnight. Now I'm going to get my uh, cheesecloth out of the glass jar. And do a second coat following the same procedure. After I'm done with the final coat, I take the cheesecloth and soak it in water, and then dispose of the oily rags properly. Okay, I'm going to start uh, putting the lamps back together. I got started with the first one here. Uh, put the bottom part of the uh, socket in, and feed the rod through, and tighten that up, and the bottom of the harp. Okay, we've got the base and the uh, cast iron weight. And just put that in so this uh, lines up with the hole. And we've got our rod. I left the nut in place where it was. Didn't change that location. I kept the washers in place. Now just reassemble. And before it had uh, two shims, you saw washers right here. And then the bottom part of the harp. And we thread on the socket base. We don't have quite enough thread coming through. Okay, I backed the knot off the bottom just a little bit. It's not quite enough thread showing through. Let's see if that thread's on now. Okay, there we go. Socket at the top and just tighten up the knot a little bit at the bottom. Okay, for these lamps, I bought a whole coil of a wire. I to need about uh, 12, 13 feet per lamp. So I ended up getting a whole coil for this. And it's 18-2 lamp cord. It was much cheaper to buy the 100 foot coil. And we're going to tie a knot in the top of it here. One side of the wire has some uh, ribs. That's the neutral side.
Okay, now I'm gonna measure off about eight feet. Okay, after uh, putting the first lamp together, um, before I put the uh, second one together, I checked the clearance here and there wasn't quite enough clearance. So on the uh, second lamp, um, I raised the uh, rod up a little higher. So this nut is down near the bottom of the threads and there was enough clearance. Uh, this cord could get pinched a little bit here. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the first lamp, take the whole socket apart, raise this rod up just a little bit and uh, move the nut down uh, to the bottom of the uh, rod here. Okay, I've got that rod raised up. I took the whole socket apart, uh, raised this rod. So the nut is down near the bottom of the rod. And got plenty of clearance now. Okay, these are the original pieces of felt that were on the bottom. They're all kind of rust stained and not in very good condition. So I'm gonna make some new pieces of felt. And I'm gonna make it about a half inch bigger all the way around. Now I'm going to rub them down with some paste wax. This is a dark mahogany paste wax. Okay, that's going to wrap up the mid-century lamp restoration. Uh, just to review, uh, we took everything apart. Uh, first clean the wood, uh, just to see what the wood was like, the condition of the finish. Uh, there wasn't really uh, much of a finish on them, so it was probably just an oil finish originally. So I just did a light sanding and then uh, two coats of tongue oil and a little bit of paste wax. And of course all the wiring was uh, bad, uh, so put all the wiring in, uh, new sockets. Uh, these harps were salvaged off some other lamps. Uh, they were just about the same size as the original ones. And they match the sockets really well. The only thing I need is a plug. I've ordered a couple plugs for these. Because they didn't have two matching plugs in stock. Okay, I put new felt on the bottom. Uh, the original felt was uh, just barely caught the edge here. So I made the felt about a half inch bigger. And you got plenty of clearance for the wire. Uh, okay, the next challenge is going to be to find some shades uh, for these. Uh, I've got a couple months to look for shades. I may have to go to a lamp store to get some shades for these. Uh, and then these are going to go to a show in August. And these are going to be priced around $800. Uh, there's very similar ones to these online that are priced in the $800 range. Now the uh, table lamp that was in the beginning of the video, uh, that's already listed online. I've got that listed for $250. So we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, we'll see you next time.